y'all? I am back with another video for you and today is a very requested video that I would do. And I'm sorry I've been putting this video off. i just been wanting to think of a look that I would make with the purple colors that I got with the BH Cosmetics haul that I did. And I can link that down below as well. But this is also going to be like a first impressions video more than like a tutorial. Not more than tutorial but this is going to be a first impressions video as well as a tutorial so just you get two in one for a video even though that's your four so a two in one video so i hope you guys enjoyed that and so let's just get on with the look okay y'all so to create this look first i'll be using the bronze palette by kylie then the bhb by bubby beauty which is what this eyeshadow is inspired by. And then lastly, I'll use Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I'll be using the middle shade with the Kylie palette and this is Cintron and I have a cat now. I'm so cute and cuddly. Okay, can you get down actually? With Cintron, I will be using this C441 Pro Blending Brush. For this, I will be using this pretty much in my inner corner and then like the top part and I'm gonna really have to pack this on to get the bright color I want I'm really only focus that on the inner corner you don't really have to go in any farther and then as I go up here I'm only going like right where my brow bone is like starts so just the top part So next, I'm going to focus this in the middle part, and I'm using Love Letter in the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm still using a C441 Pro Blending Brush, it's just a new one. And I'm focusing this more in the center. So it's kind of like transitioning the purple that will be on the outer corner, and then the orange yellowish color that is on the inner corner. I will be using this Morphe fluffy brush. It's kind of like a C44 Pro Blending brush. And I'm using Kind and the BH Cosmetics palette. It's a lot lighter than I thought, so I'm just gonna use Confident with the same brush. And use it on the outer corner. This is also kind of like my first time using this palette, so, um, it doesn't give, it's purple. So I'm also bringing this on my lid, as you see, it kind of got on there and it's fine. So I'm going to bring this on my lid on the outer corner and blend that out. Then I like to use this highlight blender brush. This is by Beauty Strokes. And I'm gonna go in with Happy and kind of like shape up the edges, kind of blending it. Just so it just looks a little bit better. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, just kind of blending it. So I want it darker right here. I It's fine for the rest. It looks really weird on the camera. Maybe it's the lighting. But I am going to darken up the outer corners. I'm going to use the Beauty Strokes Basic Shadow Brush and I want to go in with Bronzite in the Kylie palette and darken up my outer corner. I'm just going to pat it on and then go in with the one I used for the purple and blend it a little bit. So I get like a dark purple effect. didn't blend well with everything else like the modern renaissance one and the kylie palette blended together hi simba but the bh cosmetics didn't blend with it it kind of looks muddy and like it looks weird i don't know i don't know it looks all right all right so for the inner corner i'm using this stila rose gold liquid glitter i'm obsessed with these things they're amazing 
So I'm kind of doing a cut crease with this. Fun fact, I've never attempted a cut crease. So, so with the finger, I'm just blending the outer, like the line, and then kind of, and it did that thing, and then I'm just gonna. So the top lid is done. So for the under eyes, I will be using, I think I'm just gonna use the orange yellow shade and then love letter as well and so for the orange yellow shade I'm gonna use this beauty strokes shadow smudger and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner I'm actually gonna put that in the inner corner more And then with another kind of pencil brush, I think this is an Emily's makeup brush, going in with Love Letter, the pencil brush, and doing my outer corner. Then with that smudger, I'm just gonna smudge it out. is pretty much what that looks like so I'm gonna go and do the other eye and I will be right back okay now that both eyes are done I am gonna do eyeliner and mascara for this look I want to I'll do a wing today so like always I will be using the cap on D felt pen and this is in trooper black and this is the tattoo liner I got a car oh I almost forgot Got caramel lashes. Now I will do a line for my eyeliner. Sorry if I get this in your camera and like in the view. It's kind of hard. So I'm gonna make a wing. One side down. I don't like doing big wings because I would probably make it a little bit bigger. So all right, as the struggle of wings happened. I think that's pretty well. I'm just gonna smudge out the bottom, just like kind of make it blend all together. Now mascara, and I'm just using this sample, the Superhero by It Cosmetics, and applying this to my bottom and top lashes. And then lastly, I'm gonna apply liner in my waterline. And this is the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner. So for lashes, I'm using these French Number no. 4 by the Sephora Collection. I haven't used these ones yet. So I'm gonna get these on and I will be right back, like always. And I can't get them out of the package though. There it goes. I can't do that with the glue. I don't like white glue. It's really hard to get out of the package. Okay. 
they just all look like this just so you guys can know before they are on okay so now that lashes are on i'm going to use wink by the bare minerals and i've been loving these lipsticks lately they're so soothing on the lips Okay, so that's what it looks like on with the lipstick. I'm gonna take my hair down and show you guys the finished look and also talk about the palette. Just give it a more of the first impressions video just because I wanna talk about it a little bit and give you all my opinions. So I'll be right back when my hair is down. Okay guys, so my thoughts on the BH palette is I love what the colors are and like using this palette, but using the colors with other colors it kind of turns off muddy and whatever the reason is I don't know maybe it's just me but yeah I don't know I'm not obsessed with this palette I'm probably not gonna grab it as much maybe I just need to work with it a little bit more try it together but this is the look that you guys requested using the purple colors just because there was like two I really didn't know what else and then the lighter purple didn't show up at all so I had to like I couldn't even use it so this is what I came up with just a you can use it for like Valentine's Day anything going out I really like this look and just the sunset vibe it gives off and it's also glam as well I don't do many of those just because that's not outgoing I like more of the subtle makeup looks I think that's what you would say but yeah that is pretty much my thoughts it's not something I would recommend really but this is the look the finished look tell me if you guys enjoyed this look and if you want to try it out as well I definitely want to see your recreations of this look if you guys do so I actually really like it and yeah it's really pretty but yeah I think that is all I have for you today. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And give it a big thumbs up so other people can find me as well. Comment down below anything you'd like me to do next. And also hit the bell to be notified when I upload, which is every Wednesday and pretty much every Saturday as well. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter and my Facebook page. They'll be linked down below. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye. For all these empty thoughts before, but I'm fixed now on the cure. I'm holding on to the last rock on the mountaintop And I'm begging for your love Do you remember The type of folk we used to be And the simple souls we used to see I